Welcome back, family and friends, to another episode of Independent Joe. I am your host tonight, just like every night. I don't know why I said that. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited because I get to taste uh, two whiskeys that I have been waiting to taste for the past month now. Um, I think it's been about a month. It was uh, right after the, uh, the junkies meet. Uh, I went and grabbed... Uh, these two bottles on my way back I was passing through Arkansas and uh, the bourbon ranch I call, I text him and I asked him and he said hey man what are uh, some good liquor stores in your area and he uh, directed me to a few I went to a few and found these in one of those liquor stores I apologize I do not know the name you could probably ask the bourbon ranch and he'd probably know um, I didn't write it down. I just, at the time, I punched it in my phone and went to the stores. But, uh, yeah. So, that's how I got these uh, bottles right here. Awesome dude. Uh, check out the Bourbon Ranch. Freaking love that guy. But, um, yeah. So, these are two of King's Family uh, Distillery. Now, King's Family is a family-owned. That's where they got the, the, the family. That's why they put it in their family distillery. And their name is King. So, uh, yeah. So, Justin and uh, Kara or Kara. Sorry if I didn't pronounce it. Which pronunciation you'd like. But uh, let's go with Kara. So, Kara. Um, both uh, are the King. Uh, the last name is King because they're married. And, uh, yeah. So, they named it King's Family Distilling. So, or Distillery. So, that's pretty cool. They are based out of Tennessee, like I just said, but that doesn't mean that it's Tennessee juice in these bottles. No, they are sourced from Indiana, I'm assuming MGP or Ross and Squibb, um, as they are called now. But this is uh, six years, six months old, so then I would assume that at the time it was MGP. Uh, this, these are batch five. Uh, both of these, uh, I don't know how high these batches go because I've never seen these bottles in my life. Um, I know that there was another honey cask that I saw at a higher proof. It was like 116. This one's at 111.7. But I, I've seen it uh, at, at, at batch two was at a 116 or something like that uh, when I was trying to find out more information on these bottles. Now, this is a rye and this is the bourbon. For the most part, I'm going to give kind of some tasting notes and try to do a small review. But, but it's, for me, it's more of a reaction video because I've been waiting so long to taste these. And I just want to taste and, 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 and see what flavors. And I mean, I'm going to show you something real quick. And you can hopefully the it's showing through on the camera. But man, there is so much I'm, sediment in there. Honey, I don't know what it is. It's floating around in this one too. And I, it's making my mouth water just thinking about it. But uh, yeah, so this is called Ryconic. It is their rye with the honey cast, six years, six month, and 111.7. This is your bourbon, non-H stated. Both of these don't have the mash bill on it, so I wouldn't be able to tell you if this is a 95.5. Um, but it is rumored, and they do put it on other bottles. I don't think it's written on this one. That they the, the rye that they used for this is grains from Kara's farm, uh, family farm, and that's on her fa her side of the family. They they have a farm that that produces grains. I'm assuming rye grains because uh, on on another rye I heard that this is is what they use. So uh, or not use, but they use the grains to to make their rye. So I out of Indiana. So I don't know if Indiana or MGP uses uh, the Kara family rye uh, grains to to and that's where they source their stuff from and that's where they get it from from Tennessee um, and I don't again I don't know if her family is in Tennessee or Indiana or wherever else but they are uh, they are it is rumored to that that their rye grains to make this at least I'm not sure about this um, is is put in the, in the rye bottles to make up the rye. I know, confusing, confusing for you, confusing for me, but hey, 
uh, that's that's what it's that's that's the rumor uh, but yeah and this right here a port like like I just said it's non age stated it's also non mash bill stated so I don't know anything about what it, how what the makeup is it is rumored to be a high rye how high I don't know because a high rye could be what 20 percent 18 percent and up for uh, and, and be considered a high rye so uh, but I it is also rumored that it is at least five years old so you got a five-year-old bourbon and a six-year-old both out of Indiana and uh, yeah I'm very 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 excited to taste these and uh, some of the processes that they, they use to make this is they what they do is they age it so this is aged I think this is five so but this is aged for four years this is aged for I believe say, same amount of time and then what they do is they transfer it over to another barrel uh, that is deeply grooved uh, for more contact uh, with the wood and also um, used uh, with honey in it they you they do do use uh, a t East Tennessee honey for their um, for these for these expressions so um, that that's something from Tennessee so that's cool they, I mean they're out of Tennessee so why wouldn't they use something from Tennessee and they're using their their uh, East Tennessee honey um, I've never had their East Tennessee honey so I assume that is pretty good uh, another thing about their uh, their distillery other than that it's family owned is that they do have other expressions they actually have a um, hazmat version not 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 with honey because that'd be crazy but they do have um, some American whiskey uh, some American whiskeys that are out there and some some other some light whiskeys also so um, I think I believe that uh, hazmat one around 140 142 and again those are batch two so also those are batch also so that um, uh, you get a various of range of of uh, proofs so I wish I had one of those. That'd be pretty cool to have. Um, this uh, company was was founded in 2018. Uh, neither of them, like I said, have the uh, mash bill. This one does doesn't say, and this one does not say, a single barrel. So uh, that's cool too because it's not a single barrel. It is says it's twice barreled. And I think I think when you finish something, I think that's what it should be considered. In my uh, unprofessional opinion, uh, I think it should be called twice barreled, uh, and that that would make more sense to me because when you call a twice barreled or a finished product a single barrel, and I I've heard a lot of different reasons why they do that, but for me, um, I th I just think that it just makes more sense because that sounds right, you know, because you're finishing something in another barrel regardless of the same juice you're using from one barrel that you poured into another barrel it's still not a single barrel in my opinion but um who am i yeah so uh justin uh the husband uh he has a background in moonshine and also in um in distilling so so they're, they're no strangers to, to, to making bourbon. And again, they've been around since 2018. Not a long time, really young. Uh, these bottles are not too cheap. Uh, for their age, they seem like they would be pretty expensive. Um, around 90 to $100 uh, for these bottles right here. But uh, some of their other higher proof uh, bottles can go up to like 100 130 so it's, it's really tough uh, to say whether it's worth it or not. I've never tasted it. I'm about to. Uh, but let me go off topic real quick. As you can see, I am wearing a uh, FU Cancer shirt. Um, have, to, have to say that uh, because uh, FU Cancer, you know. I don't want to put that video out there because then I don't want it to be a, get a strike or anything. But you know what I'm talking about. Um, but uh, Monica... Uh, is doing a cancer walk uh, in the beginning of October, I think around October 9th. And uh, as you know already, if you've all watched the past uh, lives, uh, we've been doing a, a fundraiser for it, for her walk. 
I've uh, got a pretty good response and appreciate everybody who's donated up to this point. I won't go over all the stuff that, that we're giving away, but you know what, what the giveaway is for. And, and it ain't really about that. It's, it's about, it's about uh, fighting cancer. It's about uh, supporting those families that, that are, are going through that and through those rough times. And when they need a little helping hand, um, you know, us as Americans, helping Americans or helping uh, people from outside the country and stuff like that. That's just, just what we do as, as a people because uh, we are all on the same planet for, for a reason, right? But, um, but I, wanna, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's donated so far. All of you are amazing. And um, in, the, in the link, in the uh, description of this uh, video, there's also the link to the uh, Cancer Walk. Uh, if you can, uh, please, uh, $5, $10, every little bit counts and uh, would really appreciate the the extra boost on uh, so, uh, for that walk uh, for uh, for Monica and it, it's great that her um, her work is actually putting this on they got other people doing it too so and that foundation I mean if you read up on it the Susan uh, G Coleman uh, foundation it's just it's just awesome that that they would um, that they have that available for people who are having a hard time and I mean if anybody who knows anybody who's been through it um, yeah it's it's tough and it's it's tough watching uh, watching that happen right in front of you so um, any, anyways I really appreciate everybody every one of you and I thank you and um, let me go back on topic uh, love you guys thank you um, okay let me get into the rye here Give it, give it a little bit of the news. It's funny. I'm not, I'm, I'm not getting a, a, a burst of honey. I, I am getting a little bit of uh, that alcohol burst. Uh, it ain't too bad. It ain't too harsh or anything. But I can smell it. I do get uh, a mint in there. Uh, some, some, and I, I, I'm attributing that to the, the to the rye. And some of the sweetness is, is coming through though. I've been letting this sit for about five minutes now. Actually, uh, about 12 minutes now, huh? So uh, I would have thought some of the some of that alcohol punch would have uh, been gone by now, but no, it's still there. Get, now I'm getting that that slight honey, uh, which is weird because there's a it looks like there's a gang of honey in there. Yeah, so let me show you that right there. Yeah. Really nice color. It's it's it, it's a stark difference in color. I mean, not okay. Wait, I won't say a stark difference, but there is a difference in color between the uh, the rye. The rye seems a little darker first for some reason. That's that's weird. Maybe because of the age. Because this is a six and a half year. This is a five ish year. Assuming that that. The uh, reports are correct. Now this one is a little bit more uh, sweeter in tone, maybe even a little more lighter in tone. Not so much of that alcohol punch on the nose, but really nice, really inviting. Uh, do get more of the honey on this one. It's 110. This is 111. Not too far off. So there shouldn't be too much of a difference in that alcohol punch but there is for for this uh this younger um assumingly younger bourbon oh man I, this just makes me want to drink it this one was a little bit more of a punch on the nose cheers everybody okay a lot more honey on the on the palate a real good real good warmth in the chest it's almost like I'm wow that's really nice um, it, it is what I expected it would be um, as far as flavor wise so much honey so much depth uh, nice, nice heat on the chest. 
it ain't it ain't hurting you at all it's it's just really really sweet really nice and you of course you get that honey cheers again everybody yeah um i've read also somewhere and this this may be psychosomatic or uh, makes or, or i'm, I'm kind of drawn to that flavor but there is somewhat of a corn ish flavor on it because somewhere i read that there, it may be a corn type whiskey because i do get corn a sweet bread corn bread flavor to it with honey drizzled on it man this is really good especially with that warmth and on the chest uh man make, makes me wish i mean they were, they were kind of expensive you know at 90 dollars. i don't know if i could have uh, bought two but man would i would i like a backup of this and yeah that's really nice um I never go back for a third drink because I usually try to keep it rolling. But man, I I, I can't I couldn't uh, I had to taste it again. It's 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 so good. It's really sweet, really nice. Cornbread. If you like cornbread with honey, sugar, you know that confection sugar. Uh, I know you don't put that in your cornbread, but um, it, it, there is that sugary sweetness there. I don't know why I just smelled my water, but hey, um, never mind. <laughs> All right, let me get into this rye here. <clears throat> oh, and they both smell so good. This one, this one, you do get that sugary sweetness on the nose. At first, I wasn't getting it, but um, now, after drinking this one, and I've had the heat, um, it's just uh, it just toned down a little bit for some weird reason. I don't know why, because it wasn't like this at the, in the beginning when I first smelled it. A little bit more of a floral uh, aroma to it. Again, uh, I, I do attribute some of those aromas, like uh, uh, the mint and the and the florals and stuff like that, to to rye uh, for my nose, anyways. But it's still a nice aroma, a nice flavor profile that I'm getting. Something that makes me want to drink it. And I'm getting that honey on it too, like a, a nice sweet green tea. That same uh, sweet green tea is on the palate. Uh, really weird, maybe because um, I drank this one first, but it doesn't have a much of a um, punch or warmth on the chest. It just, it just, it, it feels good. It tastes good, um, like that green sweet tea. This one's a little bit more, more different, more of the cornbread, more of the uh, honey. And this one is more of that sweet tea with lemon in it and some uh, some honey, some lemon honey. Both of them really nice and rich on the tongue. Um, if I had to choose between two of them, this is more of what I like as far as a bourbon and flavor and taste and, 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 and warmth that I get. This, everything like that is there, except it's just a different flavor profile because it's rye. Um, but I, I do like rye, and there's nothing wrong with this. I wish I had a backup for both of these, um, but I just didn't, ex I didn't know what to expect. And, you know, some bottles, you just, it's just tough to, to, to buy two from, um, especially when you're on a long trip and you don't know, uh, you know, it's tough. I've never heard of them, but... Uh, I'll be looking out for these. I mean, I, I, I know they're not in my area because I've never seen them before, but um, I like the design. They got a honeycomb type print on here. The, st the, the, the labeling is really nice. They got the uh, golden honey uh, little drips right here on the on the wax. It's pretty cool. These are pretty cool bottles. Um, I, I would recommend if you see them at at MSRP. still getting those um, flavors um, not because I burped I didn't burp up or anything but oh man so yeah so again um, yeah they're good man they're good I like the flavors 
wish I had a backup. I do recommend uh, a, a try before you buy with any whiskey. Uh, but hey, if you buy it and you don't like it, um, let me know and I, I'll take it off your hands. Um, but um, no, I, I appreciate you, every one of you, all, all the supporters, Patreons, everybody who, who supports the channel. Um, I just I just can't say enough about everybody who's who's uh, again donated to the to the charity and um, yeah I'm I'm gonna go ahead and see you on the next one this this video's ran too long but um, yeah thank you appreciate you have a good uh, morning afternoon and good night and whatever time you sit, watch this video and I'll see you on the next one appreciate you.